I'm going to show you in three easy steps how to use your Epson V600 to scan in 35 negative film from film photography. All the things that you're going to need is a simple air blower, your Epson V600, your negatives, and then a computer as well. The first thing that you're going to go do is find the link down in the description and download the software so that you can use the Epson V600 scanner to scan your 35 negative film with. There is a Mac and a PC version, so make sure that you're downloading the correct one. Next, open up your V600 and remove the panel that's in the back side that normally falls into this place as you do not need that for scanning in 35 negative film and it will get in the way. Then pull out the tray that holds the film in it. The scanner then connects to the computer via a USB. While handling the negatives, it's best to have gloves on because if you touch anything or the screen on there, the oils from your fingers really mess everything up and it's hard to clean off and make it look as good as new, especially the film. So now that I have my strip of film that I would like to scan in, I'm now going to go and blow it all off, all the dust that's on there. Get as much of that off before I actually put it into the tray. And then simply load it into the tray on either side. Push that in there and snap it into place. After you've loaded up your film into the slide, just go ahead and blow off all of the dust and things that are on there because they will show up in it and they're really, really annoying to remove and post, especially if they're across somebody's face. So simply blowing off both sides as best you can and then blowing off the scanner as well. Then you just take this slide and put it into the A position and close the scanner. Boot up the scanner. Then come into your computer and open up the software. It is found as Epson Scan. This screen will then pop up and you want to turn it into professional mode so that you can scan everything how you would like. Uh, then go down to document type and do film instead of reflective because you're doing the film. Color negative film or black and white or positive film depending on which one you're doing. But for most of you it will be color negative film. Then the image type, I just do 24 bit color. And then the resolution I set to 32. Uh, you can do it at a much higher but this is kind of the best bang for your buck as the higher the resolution you scan in, the longer your scanning process will take. Then you can go into preview. It'll go ahead and do a preliminary scan on it so you can see what you're working with. After it's done with these, you can go into the thumbnail and see what each one of these is gonna look like and then uncheck any of the ones that you don't want to scan. Then returning to the Epson scan, I recommend going into here where you can see if you've over or underexposed the image as it will automatically set it to whatever it thinks it needs to be. So you can adjust these so it's a little bit overexposed, but not by much, more like the whites were peaking, a very small amount of the whites, but I would like to see that in the final image. So I'm going to pull that over. However, on some, you won't realize that you've over or underexposed images until you look at this graph right here, the histogram. Then I'm gonna close that and press scan. This will then offer you where you want to have your images show up inside your computer. And I have a uh, folder selected already. So these are already going to fall into scanned photos section. So I'm gonna press okay and okay. Now it's going to scan the photos that I want and put them into the specific folder as JPEGs. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos to help you shoot and scan your negatives and film stock for film photography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.